There are three roadblocks that people face when starting on YouTube, and that has to do with getting over this camera shyness and how to look natural on camera. Those three roadblocks are tech, talent, and time. And I'm gonna help you overcome all of those so that you can rock your YouTube channel. Let's dive into the first roadblock, which is tech. A lot of people are like, what do I do? What kind of camera do I use? Do I have a lighting kit? What do I use for audio? And yes, all of those things are important, but not as important as getting started. When I first started, my husband and I, it was my fiance at the time, we used my iPhone. I didn't even have a tripod and tripods are like, $20, not a massive investment compared to how much money you really could spend on all the other things. But we used my iPhone, I stacked it up on a stool with a bunch of books, and Wayne, my husband, stood behind with a lamp with no lampshade. Or I would be in front of a window for natural lighting. And from that, I still have these videos that are up on my channel. You can scroll all the way back and see. These are the videos that we started with when we all we had was our camera. These iPhones or whatever smartphone device have great cameras on them. So don't let that stop you from getting comfortable on camera and just getting started because the benefits of starting your YouTube channel now are going to outweigh any of those fears. How many people do you know, or even if this is you, comment below, I'd love to know, are you the kind of person that you're saying, I wish that I started my YouTube channel a year ago. Imagine where you would be today if you had started your YouTube channel or started doing videos years ago. The next roadblock I hear so often is talent. I'm shy, or I don't know what to say, or how do I say this, what do I do? I totally get it. But how are you gonna get better unless you start? There's a few things that I do before I start filming to get myself into state, feeling good and feeling confident on camera. Cause I'll be honest, it's a Saturday afternoon as I'm filming this right now. And totally there's other things that I would love to be doing. It's beautiful outside. My family's all hanging out. I'd love to be there, but I also know that I would really love to be able to reach you and help you with these problems too. So that said, one of the first things is to remember why are you doing this? Why do you want to do this? Is it because you want to elevate your social status? Is it because you want to help people? Is it because you want to make more money? Well, all of the above may happen if you start doing these videos. So when I get nervous, I start to think of who needs me? Who needs this message that I'm feeling a little bit shy or nervous about sharing? I even think of the people who have reached out and said that video helped me or that video changed my life or it's because of this thing that you said or did that created this result for me. And then I think that although there might be some fears of people of, of wondering what are they gonna think about me, I realize that it's actually selfish of me to hold this in and to not give the value and the expertise and the advice that I know that I can share to help other people. So the same thing for you is what would happen? Who are you doing a disservice to if you don't get yourself on camera? And I know that's easier said than done. So let's talk about actually getting your confidence up so that you can go on camera. Before every shoot, I do everything that I need to do to get myself into that state. So I make sure I have a good night's sleep the night before, that I had a good meal, enough water, I'm super hydrated. And what can I do to get my spirits up? So what can I, do I listen to some Beyonce? Do I have a little dance party? Do I go for a walk? get outside nature what can i do that energizes me so ask yourself the same question can you put on an awesome soundtrack do you need to watch a movie or some funny videos on youtube that are going to get you laughing and get you enjoying and getting you just in this space where you can't wait to get this energy out it's really important to get your energy up because when you're on camera your energy actually has to be higher than what feels normal or even appropriate sometimes because when, you know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds, the camera also diminishes some of your energy. So the conversation, if I was having a conversation with someone like this, they'd think, holy smokes, that girl drinks a lot of coffee. I don't drink any coffee, I don't drink coffee. Um, or they might think like, wow, she's really hyper. But this is actually how, I, how we need to communicate on camera to show that your energy is high. Because this is how I would normally have a conversation. And this is probably pretty boring. And even though this would feel appropriate face-to-face -face in person, it's not showing the energy that I need to have to be able to communicate to you everything that I wanna get across right now. And the last roadblock is time. And I absolutely get that. And that's why it's so important for you and I as entrepreneurs to understand what are the most revenue generating tasks in our business that we can be the ones to implement every day. And how can we outsource or delegate to someone else who has other superpowers and talents and in other areas that aren't necessarily our strengths? One of the first hires that I made was I hired a video editor and then I hired a personal or an executive assistant and then I hired 
a copywriter and so on and so on. And so the things that I felt like weren't my biggest strengths or things that I knew that I needed to focus on strategy or I needed to focus on working with clients instead of doing some of these tactical things, that's where I was able to outsource and delegate and find people to support me in the business. However, the one thing that I can outsource is me being on camera and building the relationship with you. So delegation is a major way to free up some of your time, but the other way is to be efficient. So when we film, we batch film six months of content in three days, or we'll batch film 60 days of content in eight hours, which I have an absolutely free masterclass, how to create 60 days of social media and video content in eight hours. You can click the link below and get that. It walks you through how we come up with our video ideas, how we batch film, and then how we outsource this to editors to be able to create the whole process and then how we distribute all the YouTube content. So this is going to help you to be able to batch and be more efficient with your time instead of like I used to do every Sunday, I would film one video, Ugh, one video in one day. Like I, what a waste of time. Whereas you could just batch film several content, several pieces of content one after another, which is going to save you all the time and effort, because even just imagine setting up your camera equipment, even if it only takes you 10 minutes to set that up, if you're doing that eight individual times, you've lost over an hour of your time. And you and I both know you can probably get a lot done in an hour, can't you? I hope this video has given you the confidence to get over the tech, the talent, the time roadblocks that might be in your way. The biggest thing and the thing that I'll go back to is remember that that camera that's sitting in front of you it's just a piece of metal and plastic. You don't have to be afraid of the camera. Remember who you're speaking to, remember why you're doing this, and remember that the payoff is gonna be so much better than any fear that's holding you back. So I hope that helps. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe for more weekly videos.